Hey y'all, how's it going? I know I haven't been on here in forever, but I wanted to take a little break after treatment in Mexico and just ease into my normal life here and uh, give things some time. But, and also I didn't want to jump back on here until I really had some news to share. So um, now I do, I, I got a PET scan, um, on St. Patrick's Day, which was only about a week after I finished treatment in Mexico. So it was way too soon to see results from Mexico. They say it would take two to three months to see the results of those dendritic vaccines. Um, so that is forthcoming, but I had a really, really good PET scan. And my doctors were very impressed here. And, and also I sent the results back to Mexico as well. And they were, they were thrilled for me, um, but as predicted, uh, the next step that my doctor tier one to do is to do this targeted radiation called Y90. And so they, what they do is they do a trial run first. So on April the 19th, I did the trial run. They, they went in with a catheter through an artery in my wrist and they went up and then all the way down to my liver. And um, they put in these little empty beads, which will when they do the real thing, be filled with radiations, but radiation, but these were empty and they put them into the arteries that feed the tumors um, that are on my liver still. And they kind of watched it to see how it went. I guess if those little beads go in the wrong places or, or go to other organs, it can be really bad, but um, they did what they were supposed to. Um, so it made me um, a true candidate for the real procedure. So, um, it was interesting though, because when I first met with my doctor, um, this is like doctor number, I don't know, seven or eight. Um, but he was a radiologist and he said, well, what he recommended was to go in and stop the blood fl flow to the entire right side of my liver and kill that whole side out off. And then that would, as a compensation, make my left side grow. And then that would just become my liver. Um, so that was the plan, I thought. And then, but I went in, I went in to um, do the actual trial run and he said, no, the medical board met about me again. And they were so impressed with how successful I um, had taken to the treatment, all the treatment, everything since this all began, um, that they didn't want to kill half of my liver, <laughs> that they wanted to go in and just target specific tumors. And so I think, I think that's the plan. And I mean, I am doing the procedure tomorrow, but I think that that's what they're going to do is they're going to go in and just target the tumors that are left. And then, um, after that, there'll just be this eight week period, eight to 10 weeks. And they were like, and then you go live your life. And, um, and then we'll do a scan after that and see where you're at. And depending on what happens, you know, a few things could happen. So, you know, if all of the tumors are gone, you know, and I have a disease free liver, then um, what they would do is just have, um, have me come in and they would remove the primary tumor, which is a tiny little tumor in my colon, which started this whole mess. Um, but they wanna get rid of the primary because that's what, that's what the culprit was, right? Um, and if, if um, there are still tumors though that aren't gone in the liver, then they might do another round of the Y90 radiation, or they might go in to remove that um, colon tumor and at the same time go into my liver and do an ablation and they just kind of like, I think, like scrape off what tumors are remaining. Um, so, and, and at that point too, then the dendritic cell vaccines that I did in Mexico would have had time to kick in. And so maybe we could just have, you know, a disease-free Holly, <laughs> which would be so awesome. Um, but we're getting there and I really, really, really believe that with all my heart that, that I am getting there despite the odds, despite what I was told by so many doctors, you know, I just, I feel in my heart. Plus I physically feel so amazing that I just think we're on the right path. So 
I do this tomorrow and then they want me around for three or four days just because if there are complications, it would happen in those three or four days. And then, you know, they told me to, that I should, if I want to go back to work or just live my normal life. And thankfully, I still have my job in Idaho. I've been working part-time um, for most of this time. I've been able to work. You know, that was one of the great things that COVID did. It taught us all how to work remotely. And so I've been able to do that. So I still have my job there. So I'm going to go back um, to Idaho and, you know, see after this eight, 10 week period where we're at and then make some decisions from there. Um, you know, if I do have to come back for, for treatment, then I'll fly back and, um, you know, spend a few days here and then fly back to Idaho. Um, another option is that I might get to a point where, you know, they want to put me on maintenance chemo, which is just a chemo you do um, ever so often that keeps everything at bay and if that's the case and I can do that there I can do that anywhere um, so that's what I'm thinking um, I'm really really thrilled um, to one have my job and the support of my incredible co-workers and um, and my you know I have my friends there too and so I'm just so so excited to uh, to go back and uh, enjoy an Idaho summer and just keep concentrating on uh, healing and you know how that fits into just a normal life instead of just a you know like I was kind of pulled out of there um, to fight this disease and that's what I've been doing for two ten months and now it's kind of like okay you know like back to what my normal life is I don't I don't even know what that is I really don't um, everything's just so different I'm different like I I don't know I'm a totally different person I don't think anybody goes through something like this and comes out of it without just having a completely new perspective but also just things things are just going to be um, interesting and I'm I'm excited and terrified I'm completely terrified to leave this little awesome team of incredibly <laughs> talented medical professionals being, you know, just, I mean, I guess it's not closer to Mexico, it's not, um, but this the part of Mexico that I was going to, but it's easy to fly there, it's easy, you know, um, so it's scary in that way. Um, but I'm scared, I'm scared to leave my family, you know, like they're the ones that have held me up this entire time. Um, and I don't just mean my immediate family, but you know, aunts, uncles, cousins, like all of them, you know, they've just shown up and, and I, um, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's hard, but I also know they're always here. And um, who knows? I don't even want to think about things, you know, that far in advance. Um, I think that was one of my um, major, you know, I don't know if it's not, it's not a problem, but like something that I, um, I just was a natural planner, right? Like I always had a plan. My life was always like, you know, you do this, this, and this, and and. Um, I've just learned that you can't have a plan. There's no plan. And um, you have to just roll with it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to take this little step and just trust um, that things will continue to be great and improve um, every step of the way, you know. And a huge part of that is up to me. And so I guess that's another thing I'm a little scared about is just um, following through, sticking with the plan, um, being as absolutely as healthy as I possibly, possibly can. Um, you know, I know I can do it, um, but I got to like get my head in the game and just, just go for it. So, but I'm ready. And um, 
so that's all happening. It's all happening starting tomorrow. And um, I think, you know, I, in the next week, I will be heading north. Um, and uh, I will be keeping you guys posted on how things go. I thought about, I had thought about so many vlogging ideas because, you know, while I'm there, um, you know, waiting for this Y90 to have to kind of kick in and do what it's going to do. It's going to be like an eight week fr time frame, like I said. So I was kind of like, well, you know, maybe I go up there and do like an eight week, like kind of boot camp. Like it's the best time of year to do everything outdoors, you know? And I thought, well, I could make a list of hikes I want to do. I can, you know, like think of all these healthy things and that I could, uh, could kind of work on for eight weeks and then share that as I'm, as I'm going along. And anyone that wants to join me, come on, be awesome. So anyway, that's just some something I've been thinking about because I do miss this and I, I really miss, you know, when I put something out there, I get all this feedback and it's so encouraging, you know, and so, um, so I don't know, I'm going to get back into it in some way. And so I will uh, keep you all posted on that. But anyway, for now, that's what I've got going on. So um, thanks for your thoughts and prayers tomorrow as I tackle this next step in this journey and um, I will let you know how it goes. All right. Thank you so much. Talk soon.